What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Chris here with Team APS, and today I got another challenge. Now, if you watched my last challenge, you know I played with a Yu Gi Oh value box. It didn't go that well. So, we're back again to do it over, and uh, we're gonna try to win another game today. Well, win a game today. So, today we'll be playing with the Dragoonity Blast value box. This box features a Dragoonity Legion structure deck, um, one pack of Star Strike Blast, one pack of Hidden Arsenal 2 and one duelist pack you say. Um, this product did release in 2012, and I like your Um, It's a fun deck. I know a little bit about them, so this should go a little bit better than last time, but um, we're gonna try to get a W because I feel like I can with, with this one. Um, and if I can, I can't, we'll, just, we'll be back here doing it all over again. So go ahead and remember to leave a like on the video, subscribe if you're not subscribed, like content like this, you like challenges. I think most of us have a challenge now that we do. Um, you no, know, so subscribe so you can see the rest of us, and uh, we're gonna get to it. So let's do it. An army of winged soldiers is awaiting your command. If you're ready to step up and take control of fierce immortal dragons and skilled avian centurions, prove it with the Dragoonity Blast. It comes with everything you need to master the art of Dragonic Dueling. I like the sound of Dragonic Dueling, um, especially when it's not Dragon Link. Protect your new cards in the style of the durable. I don't know if these are that durable. I'm not even gonna finish that part, but these are the, these are, uh, the Yu-Gi-Oh! Dueling sleeves. And like the card back. So we're gonna jump into this and see what's in here. Oh my God. First and foremost, uh, I like the way this looks. This is this is cool. Uh, I like the colors, but we're not talking about the color here. We're talking about the contents. And first and foremost, we're gonna talk about the super durable sleeves, card sleeves. These are infamous. Uh, everybody knows about these, and I hate them. Next, we got the Dragonity Legion structure deck. One pack of Star Strike Glass. If I can get these out of here, that would be great. One pack of Hidden Arsenal two and one duelist pack you say two not one it's two i thought it was two the giant card which damaged by the way well we got this from we need a refund so i guess now we can jump into the structure deck and i'll show you guys what's in here i actually remember when the structure deck first came out i do too um it was a good time for Yu-Gi-Oh. they were a fan favorite i do remember when dragoonies were released and uh people were really high up on them they really wanted them they just got new cards so um the Goonies is here, um, but this is the official play mat, the paper one and the official guide. Uh, I'm not gonna be using either of these. Throw those to the side and jump right into the structure deck, which I probably could have read the back of the box, but it's more fun to just find out what's in here. So in this deck, we have one Dragoonity Armor Leviton, one Dragoonity Armor Mistleton, one Achilles, one Dux, a Legionnaire, a Tribus, a Dark Spear, a Militum, a Primus Pillars, a Brandestock, one Javelin, Miss Valley Falcon, Hunter Owl, Garuda the Wind Spirit, Flying Kamakari, one Dragon Spear, Twin Headed Behemoth. These are older cards, so we're just gonna go through them, but um, Arm Dragon level three and five, uh, two Mash Dragon, uh, you have to have multiples of this card. A really big fan favorite, the Gunnery Ravine. Everybody knows this card has been pretty good since it came out. So getting to this in the deck will be great. One mass, one Miss Mastery. United We Stand, Mage Power, Gunfire, Stamping Destruction, Creature Swap, Monster Reincarnation, Foolish Burial, Card Destruction, Windstorm of, I don't know that word, Relieve Monster, Legacy of Yata Garasu, Final Attack Order, Mirror Force, Try to catch somebody slipping with this today. Uh, Dragon's Rage, Bottomless Trap Hole, Spiritual Wind Art, Miyabi, and one Icarus attack. So we'll go Yusei first. Hopefully we get a Synchro Monster to help us with this, this deck. So, a Descending Lost Star. Oh, one Debris Dragon, that could help. Oh, Road Warrior. Uh, I'm not sure if this is gonna help too much, but it's Road Warrior. Uh, Spirit Force, Hyper Synchron, and a Strategy Card. Next we'll do Hidden Arsenal. Whoa, what? Ooh, I already see one. Whoa, whoa, what? Uh, we get a Dulorian, the Tiger King of the Ice Barrier. That is a good pull. Genix Turbine, Alley Justice Nullifier, Rose Whip, and a Hollow Miss Valley Falcon to go along with the one we have in our deck. So I think this card might be expensive. We'll look it up later, but yeah. Better get into the Star Strike Blast pack. Hopefully we get something good out of here. I think our pulls have been good so far. Unlike last time, we got nothing. Um, half Counter, 
watch Kiwi, watch Justin, Vice Berserker, Formula Synchron. I was talking about this car earlier, um, changed the format when it came out. And it's pretty good to have. It's a level two synchro tuner, very good car. Um, watch Hopper, Scrap Lube, Extra Veiler, and Star Siphon. Okay, so we pulled pretty good out of the packs. Uh, Wild DeLorean is a good card. Uh, I don't think we'll be able to summon it at all, just because it needs a water monster. I don't think there are any water monsters in this deck um, that I know. I think they're all wind. You don't pull these often, so that's pretty cool to have. Miss Valley Falcon, I'm definitely adding it to the deck, so I'm gonna put it over here. Um, all of this other stuff, I'm gonna have to work with to see if I could even summon. Cause right here, I don't even think, I, I can't summon him, I don't have Rose Synchron. Uh, Debris Dragon, uh, he can go in there, maybe. He's a wind monster, he's a dragon, so I guess I could put him in there. And these other cards, I'm gonna have to read over them and see what I can put in here. The premise of this deck is pretty much to use cards like Dragon's Ravine or any other means to get these to the graveyard. My smaller, my dragon monsters. Use my mid-level monsters, equip them, get different effects. They could pop cards when they're equipped and things like that. So, and then also summon out my, my beaters, my big monsters, like this guy, which I have to summon if I summon it. So hopefully I clap somebody today and give me a W. Yeah, I did sign yeah. up for the tournament and yeah. we're about to get started. So we're gonna go ahead and jump into my first match. Shout out to this video sponsor, Skillshare. I've got more downtime than ever. So why not pick up a new skill? And no better place to go than Skillshare. Skillshare is a learning community for creative and curious people alike. One class in particular that I've enjoyed is YouTube success, script, shoot and edit with MKBHD taught by Marquez Brownlee. He covers the entire process from video planning to editing, but he also gives tips for growing a YouTube channel. When you take a class, you get a combination of lessons and a project at the end. There are no ads on the videos and the lessons get straight to the point, so you don't have to waste any time. You won't break the bank either since Skillshare with an annual subscription costs less than $10 a month. So if you're ready to take on a new challenge, then hit that link in the description to try Skillshare. And the first 1,000 people to hit that link get a free trial of Skillshare Premium to explore your creativity. All right, guys, see, I'm here at the round one. And it didn't go that great at all, uh, to be honest with you. Uh, I went up against a player who was playing Scrap Orcus. Really used the new uh, Scrap Raptor card uh, out of the new set. Really great card. Uh, pretty much first turn, he went for a combo. Made Opelousa, made Wonder. Uh, I couldn't really do anything, but active, set a couple cards, activate card destruction, try to draw into something. Um, didn't really go too great, so I pretty much lost that next turn. And then game two, we pretty much full comboed into my set back row, and I lost. The funniest part about that game was I only got to activate two cards the entire match. Card destruction and bottomless trap hole. That's pretty much how the game went. But just like last time, um, we got an OTS pack. Okay. And we're gonna open it, see if we can pull, hopefully we can pull something like the new Forbidden Droplet uh, Ultimate Rare, or the Cyber Dragon, or even like a Super Rare Nerva would do for me. So let's open it and see what we pull. Skull Servant. This is the most useless card in Yu-Gi-Oh. You like Skull Servants? You're horrible. Not really, if you like it, you like it. I just hate it. Yeah, that's why we put out the OTS pack. Uh, nothing useful in my opinion, but uh, we're gonna keep playing and see what we can get. All right guys, I just got done playing my round two match and if I must say, game one um, was really fun. I played against um, Drytron player. So he had all the bells and whistles in the deck, all the new stuff that came out. He always with Drytron Nova to summon a monster from the deck and starts off with a normal Drytron combo and makes a new Exceeds monster. Ends with Alpine Mascarena and Herald of Ultimateness which is a huge negate. Um, it's an Omni negate, so I couldn't really get over that um, immediately. So I started my turn. I pretty much just set up cards like I did last last round. I set a few cards, and then I, I moved my in phase. But before I can do that, he uses IP Masquerade to make Unicorn, spend some of our cards to the deck. After that, I just end my turn. Um, he summons New Diviner of Herald and sits Entis to pop my other back row, and then he makes Access Code to finish my board, but doesn't kill me. So I use card destruction again. So somehow that game, I baited out uh, the Ben Droplets and a call by the grave, and I summoned my giant card. Uh, <laughs> my Leviton, my boss monster. Um, 
And then I use the card called Dragon's Gunfire to get rid of access code, which I'm not ish, I'm not entirely sure if it was legal. Um, I asked after the game because we but neither me or my opponent knew, and we did find out that it, it in fact wasn't. But um, so I did out that board for the time being, but we can't do that. Sadly, my opponent top deck cyber emergency and pretty much comboed into another board and destroyed me. Um, then we move on to game two. And I go first in game two and I actually draw Dragon's Ravine. And I send my Dark Spirit to the grave, which I probably should have sent something else in hindsight. Um, Cause I, I thought I could combo a little bit more, but then I realized I didn't have everything I needed in hand. Um, but then I summon Legion there and equip Dark Spirit. Not sure if that was the right play, but I end my turn. He lightning storms my field, but actually ends turn. Probably because he sided a lot of cards that weren't really that great against me, and he just ended his turn. I got some damage in, like, it didn't matter. Um, I did summon my other boss monster, but he's not that, he's not really not that great, but I did summon him and get more damage in. Unfortunately, you know, you draw one combo piece with Drytron and then they could just make a board and win the game. So that's pretty much what happened all uh, round two. Um, I had fun that game, I'm not gonna lie. Whenever I did summon my, um, my boss monster, my Leviton. It was fun. I didn't think I was going to summon it today, but I did get to summon it. And, you know, I had a good time. All right, guys. Sometimes in between matches, I get a little hungry. You know what I'm saying? I'm a big guy. I got to eat sometimes. So I like to grab me a snack. And at our locals, my favorite snack to get, honey buns. Can't go wrong with a honey bun. Listen, man, I'm like Popeye. When I eat, I get stronger. It's not spinach. I have to eat sweets, you know? So that made me like um, the sugar rush guy. I'm my hero. I'm, yeah, it's gonna make me play better. So I always thought of you as more of a fat gum type. Can you call me fat, Paul? He has a cool quirk. He has a cool quirk. I really like him. He's like uh, Choji, in my opinion. Yeah, he actually is. Really cool. All right, guys. We just got done playing the third round, and that time I played against uh, your Sinju player. Uh, Pretty cool deck, uh, by the way. I always have bad luck with your Senju, but uh, game one, he starts out by setting scales and some back row. I summon Spear Dragon and attack. He pendulum summons some big monsters and attacks. Uh, attack me for a lot, about six, about 6,000. Uh, and that made me switch up. I had to actually make a play. Uh, so I did draw Dragon Ravine uh, in my opening hand. So on that next turn, I used Dragon Ravine and I sent Aculus. And I use loot, and he uses lose one turn, which isn't a problem. But he negates the summon with his counter trap. Um, I then summon ducks, equip Aculus, and actually destroy a monster. But when I summon Leviton, it gets banished by Ice Dragon's prison, and that's pretty much the game. During game two, it got pretty spicy. We start the game with Aculus, and I actually summon Leviton on turn one, but it gets bounced to the hand. Uh, he then normal summons four you send you monsters, swings all of them, but I actually have back row and one of my back row was Mirror Force. So I pretty much destroy all of them. Uh, I then summon Mistleton and then Leviton and get enough in for a game and I win the game. So that game two, yeah, I did pull out that game too, you know. I feel like a feel like a I feel like I won a championship, even though I didn't. You know, and um, this is the monster that got me there. Uh, I'd like to thank you, Leviton. You're, you're a great monster. Um, I like Dragoonities. You're a cool deck. Uh, I wish you would have gave me some extra deck monsters, but you know, you did what you had to do today. We had to win the child who won the challenge. Now, then, game three. I go first. I set two cards. He summons two monsters and attacks, but I stop it. Um, using Stamping Destruction to pop a card and attack. But he ends up gaining too much momentum. And lose one turn, hit the board again. Lose one turn actually stopped me a lot, actually. It didn't matter game one, but game three when he activated, it did a lot. Cause I, I could have made some plays, but that card just stopped me from activating my missile tense effect, which would in turn got me to my um my my destruction card. And I couldn't really get over anything. So that pretty much ended the game. I summoned missile tent in defense and he pretty much just summoned the Ocentures and attacked over me. I did manage to win a game. So my challenge today has been completed. Uh, you know, so we won the battle, but we lost the war. But we did win that one game, you know. Always remember, as, as the great Calvin always says, walk by faith, not by sight. So I had faith in my win, and I saw the win, and I got it. But I lost the war. I think we got one more round, so we're gonna play it just for the fun of it. Um, you know, probably try to get another W. If I get another win today, 
That'll be great. Cause that means I got two wins in one day. And it's gonna make up for the win I didn't get last time. So we're gonna see what we can do. All right, guys, so I just got done with my round four. Um, and I played against a great keeper player, my boy, um, Kevin. You've probably seen him in other videos. Always a fun time playing him. But um, I lost that match also. Pretty much game one, he attacked into my match dragon, and I summoned twin-headed behemoth. Then he suicides into his monster, plus my behemoth come back during the end phase with um, less attack and defense. So I pretty much ended with a monster on my, on my field after his turn. So then it was looking good. And he didn't have a great hand, but he summons Verte Anaconda somehow. Eventually, he draws into enough monsters to do Anaconda and makes Dragoons and then sets two Southern Judges. And that's basically game. I couldn't get over that. I don't have enough firepower to get over that. Game two starts off pretty slow. We both set cards. Next turn, I summon my giant <laughs> Leviton <laughs> and play out my whole hand and equip spells. But he dark holds my he dark holds my field pretty much. Uh, we go back and forth for two three turns. He gets more monsters than me and eventually wins. So uh, Necro Valley uh, did did slow me down a lot, and then I got Royal Tributary a couple times too. But um, overall, I had fun today, and that's all that matters. I did complete the challenge already, and my challenge was only to win one game. I guess next time I'll probably try to win a match. It depends on what I'm playing. So. That's gonna be it for the video today. Uh, as you can see, I was able to complete the challenge today. And I just wanna show you guys some of my standout cards today. Uh, Leviton, um, or how do you pronounce that name? Let me know down in the comments, cause I might be wrong. But Leviton's a good card. Uh, and I summoned this uh, a lot, actually. So uh, my giant card did come out. Aculus, uh, good card also. He pretty much helped me clear out my problem cards whenever I was summoning. Uh, my Leviton, and the easiest ways for me to get to these cards were Foolish Burial and Dragon's Ravine. I'm actually interested in building um, Dragoonity now because I, I never had a really had a chance to play with these cards um, back in the day when they first came out, and I know they got some new stuff that just came out too. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think of the other challenges, man. Um, if you want to see more of this stuff, you know, just let us know because we enjoy making this stuff. Um, these decks. Um, they're pretty expensive to find this stuff uh, because these are old products. Um, and we, we're buying this stuff, it's all sealed. So it's kind of expensive to get it. So, you know, please support this video. Uh, please leave a like, drop a comment. Um, if you made it this far, you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, man, because we love you guys over here at Team APS. And uh, that's really all we got today. So, past turn. <laughs>